Nurse! Nurse! Fuck! <laughs> Nurse! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I really wish I could smoke in here, but the nurses won't let me. They say I'm damaging the integrity of Bruges' most famous hospital. But that's utter shite. I mean, the hospital's from the fucking medieval times. I'm pretty sure the time has done more damage than me, and that me having a bit of a smoke ain't gonna damage any tapety of any fucking hospital. <laughs> I was admitted here about three days ago. I, me, I got beat up by a bunch of fucking skinheads after one of them caught me in bed with his girlfriend. It wasn't that bad, I mean, I hadn't fucked you yet anyway. It was just one instance of her hand on my cock and my finger up her thing. Which lasted also briefly, I mean, you can ask her. But right now, I'm just waiting for one of these nurses to tell me I can leave. More than anything though, I'm sick of this fucking city. Did you know that all of Bruges is preserved from medieval times? History's a waste of time. It's just a bunch of stuff that's already happened. Move on. Get over it. Look, I'm being a bit too harsh. I grew up in Dublin. I love Dublin. If I grew up on a farm and was retarded, Bruges might impress me. But I didn't. So it doesn't. This isn't the holiday for me or anything. It's part of my job description. See, I'm not in a regular line of work. Basically what I do is I shoot people for money. Hold on, reserve your judgments. Bad people, usually. I mean, it's not a bad gig, really. A couple days work, a couple weeks rest. You perform a hit, then get sent to some shitty little city to hide out while things blow over. Don't get me wrong though, traveling really is the best part about it. You ever been to Prague? That's a fucking city. Berlin? That's a fucking city. What, Bruges? Many fucking evil Bruges? I guess I should tell you about my last hit. My boss rings me up and says, Ray, you're going to London. I'm like, fine, great, London's great, you know, Big Ben. I don't really know what's in London, if I'm being quite honest. <laughs> I ask him, what am I doing in London? He tells me, he fucking tells me, you're killing a priest. Imagine that, being asked, ordered, to kill a servant of God. I mean, I'm not superstitious or anything, but that stuff kind of scares me. You ever heard of purgatory? Saw it in a painting once. Purgatory. It's kind of like, it's kind of like the in-betweeny one of heaven and hell. You weren't all that shit, but by all means, you weren't that fucking great either. It's a place of uncertainty. You get sent there by the big man upstairs and are made to wait and wait and wait to so have been told you can leave. So it's like me in this hospital right fucking now. All right, so they hit with the priest. So I go to the church where the priest works. Sit myself down in the confession box and I say, Forgive me, Father, for I sin. He asks me what my sins are. Murder, I say. He asks me, Who have you murdered? You, Father. I then pull my gun from my coat pocket and shoot him twice in the abdomen from my side of the confession box. Puts up a fight. Well, not literally, I mean, he doesn't get up and try to punch him or anything. But his will to live is pretty fucking strong. <laughs> right, so he stumbles out his side of the confession box, making his will to the altar, blocking the view in the process. He isn't dead, so I have to put a few more bullets into him. Fires three more times, all hit. He falls to his knees, and then to his face. The view to the altar isn't blocked anymore. You're out of the corner of my fucking eye. All I can see is a boy. You know, he was, he was young, six, maybe seven. You know, he was wearing a tiny little suit and tiny little shoes. 
He was dead. He, he is dead. One of my bullets must have gone straight through the priest and into the boy. I mean, a fucking child. That priest made mistakes and paid for them. But the boy, he didn't even get the opportunity to make mistakes. He'll never finish school. He'll never share a point with his father. He'll never love a woman or make love to a woman. Or a man, I mean. How the fuck should I know what he liked? <laughs> now there's a Christmas tree, somewhere in London, with a bunch of presents underneath that they'll never be opened. You know, and I, and I know I didn't mean to kill him, but because of the choices that, that I made, and the course that I put into action, a fucking child isn't here anymore. And he'll never be here again. It's all because of me. That little fucking boy is dead because of me. And I'm trying hard. I really am trying to get my head around it, but I can't. No matter what I do, forever, for the rest of my life, I will always kill that little boy. And that's never going to go away. Ever. After I killed him, I dropped the gun in the River Thames. Washed the residue off my hands in the bathroom of a Burger King and walked home to wait instructions. Shortly thereafter, the instructions came through. Get out of London. Get to Bruges. I didn't even know where Bruges fucking was. It's in Belgium. You know, I fucking swear, I swear, when I get out of this hospital, when I get out of Bruges, I need to go back to London. Find the boy's mother. Apologize, and I'm going to accept whatever punishment she gives me. Prison. Death. Doesn't matter. And you know, at least in prison, and at least in death, I wouldn't be here. In fucking Bruges. <laughs>